<laughs> so, but I'm imagining. Are we ready? <laughs> I am at the shutters. Oh yeah. I will open the front of the carriage. It's one of those side opening things. You know the ones. Mm hmm. <laughs> are we ready to perform? Unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is it. It begins Mayor. in a three. Mayor Tap me up, Elfric. Tap me up, Elfric. <laughs> a two. A one. Shoo! The shutters are open. Uh, you see, uh, all throughout the uh, land of toys, Odier, um, is just children. Just loads of children beating shit up, beating each other up, uh, breaking uh, windows, and just generally being rapscallions. Smoking Bloody rapscallions! Bloody I turn into Wallace. Yeah. I turn into Wallace and chase them. <laughs> <laughs> and as the shutters open, they all turn towards you. <laughs> and uh, Magnifucho goes to the front and says, I present you the tale of the princess's new clothes, written by Magnifucho, performed by the Curse of Strad. Uh, we begin in the great land of uh, Barovia, where the princess Penelope is. And it uh, will begin with Penelope and her monologue. And he walks off and motions for Penelope to begin and holds up a cue card with words on it. <laughs> Great. Uh, Amir as Penelope will start dancing kind of through the audience as it says in the script and kind of gathering them up and say <coughs> Gather my friends on this beautiful day. Let the wind be our music and sweep us away. Listen to your hearts as it beats to the song. Come join in the fun as we all dance along. The magical day given life by the sun gives its loving warmth to everyone. Join all together for our joyful dance. You'll feel the fun if you give it a chance. What what a glo glorious day. Oh. <laughs> I love the spring. So many beautiful flowers and butterflies. Oh, uh, oh, are you? Uh, uh. <laughs> How are you and your family today, Squirrel? Uh, things are just uh, nuts around here, but but we manage. Well, I brought you some nuts from my supplies. I was worried you might be running low after such a long winter. Th thank you so much, Princess. This is wonderful. How goes things for you, Cow? Um, I I can't find my cowbell. Anyway, <laughs> I'm waiting for band practice. They said they need more cowbell. <laughs> Little cowbell to get things moving. Oh, I, oh, I just love your cheesy jokes. Ring a ding ding. Here it is. I'm saved. Thank you so much, princess. My pleasure. Bye, bye. I'm shocked he could read that. <laughs> Where did Unicorn go? <laughs> <laughs> Unicorn, you say? Perhaps I made her disappear. Tasto walks out dressed in the full brony face paint. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm right here. Well, now I will make you disappear. I scared the shit out of me. Penelope enters. Magico runs away. <laughs> What's wrong, Kikikikun? What's wrong, Kikikikun? Kikikikun's cooking the ropes again. No way it wasn't. 
<laughs> what's, he, what's he up to? <laughs> he said it. he wanted to make me disappear. Oh, well, we must find this metal <laughs> some magician and see what he is up to. But how will we find him? We need someone with a good nose. Aww. Oh, I howl, apparently. Ooh. Penelope howls, what? and the wolf runs on stage. Oh. <laughs> What's up, <laughs> Prince? Friend, wolf, something foul wanders our woods. Stranger, can you sniff him out for us? My nose will never fail you. I knew I could <laughs> count on you. Tassel, you're alive. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, but how will we find him? <laughs> no. he, he smells, he smells of fish. He, sm <laughs> he smells of fish and old socks. <laughs> Scott, take that. I picked up the scent. Let's go. Wolf leads the Penelope and Unicorn off stage. Royal enters with seamstress, designer, and tailor. Go. <laughs> Quick, like quickly change, like scrubbing the face paint off. <laughs> Words, <laughs> princess. Oswald walks out with a wizard hat. What are we looking for out here? <laughs> <laughs> um, she is a free spirit, and she loves being in the woods. Wolf leads a Penelope past upstage behind the others, entering and exiting quickly. Was that her? Oh, <laughs> oh no, oh, oh, over there. Nope, nothing. Uh, where, where is that line? Uh, she goes out here often. Oops. <laughs> Thing flipped. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, every day she loves helping the animals. She sounds very kind. She is. Don't get me wrong. Everyone loves her. Her family. The people of the country. Um... And the animals, too. Uh, she is very well-liked, but she is also unconventional. <laughs> she refuses to dress like a royal. That's why I called you all here. I need her to look good for the upcoming coronation. Her elder sister is to become queen, and she wants Penelope to look her best for the occasion. Penelope runs past with Wolf and the Unicorn, and looks like they ran through bushes and rolled in dirt. She's a mess. Oh, hello, everyone. Did any of you see a weird wizard wandering around? Afraid no. Penelope. <laughs> but while I have you here, I would like to meet... I would like you to meet... No, I would like to meet some of our best clothiers in the kingdom. It's very nice to meet all of you, but I don't need any new clothes. Of course you do. It's your sister's coronation suit. She needs you to look her best. But this is my sister's special day. I don't want to stand out or draw attention from her. Then if you don't want to stand out, you'll need some help. Uh, <laughs> because right now you stand out. So we have a beautiful collection of clothes for her. I'm happy with my current clothes. Thank you, man who's regretting his accent choices. <laughs> I love how it's, it's Oswald just switching hats, switching hats, switching hats. Yeah, constantly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see how. Oh Jesus, fuck! Uh, uh, what the fuck is that one? Oh, this one. Uh, you can't be serious. Are these people one. bothering you, Madame? Want me to eat them? I'll take care of them. Could you be so kind as to continue to hunt for the moon magician? Of course. Wolf <laughs> runs off. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> It's <laughs> oh, this is the worst mistake of my entire life. Uh, it was <laughs> Swat's head again. It was as if she was speaking to the animals. The designer is the German one, and if the animals seem to understand, <laughs> and the tailor totally. Princess, I've nothing against your work here in the woods. You do a lovely job caring for the animals and keeping the forest. <laughs> your sister has requested that you dress differently for the coronation. In. My, my, my sister wants me to change? She, she doesn't like me this way? It's just for one day. It's a special occasion. Just this once for your sister. Penelope says. <gasps> Very well. What do I need to do? 
They just need to take your measurements. Seamstress, designer, and tailor gather around Penelope with measuring tapes. I will only wear something I like. I won't make any promises. Here are some designs I've worked hard on with your sister. Designer gives drawings to Penelope. Oh no. I don't think so. No, no, no. What's wrong with them? <laughs> How can I climb trees in these gowns? Why would a princess need to climb trees? Uh, well, how can I swim in the lakes? Are princesses allowed to swim? How can I run free in the woods? I've never designed a tree climbing, swimming, running gown before. And you won't. Because <laughs> that's not what these gowns are for, princess. You must learn your place and... Nope. <laughs> you look over to Penelope. <laughs> Penelope gets so angry. Magico sneaks in the background and hides. He's behind you. Oh no, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> I think even Amir is like gritting through this next little monologue, just like mm. submit. I will never submit. No one should ever have to submit to the will of another. I'm not sure I want to be in a kingdom where people must be submissive. We must be supported, we must be empowered, we must be lifted up and never held down. That's not a world I want for myself or others. It's so beautiful. A designer, tailor, and seamstress all clap as Penelope exits, but a royal gives them a dirty look and then all stop looking so we have your today. Oh, no, that's not me. Uh, no, no, Elf, come on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, sure, I think that's yeah. not me. Where? We have your measurements. We will create your gowns. Prepare yourself, princess. Go! Prepare the gowns. Designer Taylor seems to scatter. Magico appears. Rrr, approaches Royal. Unicorn enters. Oh, this is going to be trouble for Mag for Royal <laughs> Unicorn. Uh, spots Magico and hides. May I approach? Your Majesty. You may. To whom am I speaking? I... Well, Magico, <laughs> uh, I wish to speak to you about your princess problem. What do you mean? I apologize for listening, but I couldn't help overhearing. She was quite loud. I have a magic spell that can help with her dress issue. You do? Here is some... Magic dust that if you <laughs> sprinkle on the princess, it will make her love the clothes. <laughs> Unicorn gasps. Magico looks around, but Unicorn hides and isn't seen. Sneaky. That's simple, huh? Ah, simple. And what do you want in return? I would like uh, control of this forest. Unicorn oh, gasps me... again. Oh. Magico looks around, but Unicorn hides again and still isn't seen. Sneaky Unicorn. Oh, sorry. Put it's the hat it's on fine. Again. It's okay. It's fine. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I would happily give you this, give this forest to you. It's nothing but a burden on the family. Only Princess Penelope cares anything for this place, but it's filled with vermin. I would gladly give it to you. Here is your. Magic dust. I will prepare the documents that will give you the rights to, to the forest. Magico gives Royal the dust and the Royal exits. Magico laughs evilly. I just want to mention, as he does, he reaches in his cloak and pulls out like a pa plastic baggie um, of a unspecified white powder. Um, but that's that's the visual. Wonderful. Soon this forest will be mine and will plow to the ground for a ye old shopping village. Full of shops with things to drink and shops with things to eat and shops with gowns and shops with hats and shops with things that no one needs but want to buy anyway. Magico laughs evilly and exits. Unicorn comes out of hiding. Oh no! I must tell Princess Penelope! Princess! 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 Unicorn runs back and forth on the stage, yelling, Princess! Until Penelope returns. Other animals gather too. 
What's the matter, friend unicorn? I found that wacky wizard, and he is up to no good. He has an evil plan. He wants to get rid of the forest and build a shopping village. Oh no! What do we do? We can eat him! <laughs> Ew! I don't eat people. What can we do about that bully? He's a going to milk us all for all we're worth. He said he was going up to have a shop with wait. He said he was going to have a shop with things people don't want to buy, but they buy anyway. That's evil. It's an utter disaster. And he made a deal with some person from the castle. Who? That one. Over there. Coming this way. I. The animals scatter, except cow. You want me to ring their bell? No, that's okay. Thank you, though. No problem. I'll be uh, close by if you need me. Cow exits and the royal enters. I've been looking for you, princess. We have much to discuss. Do. I hope you've come to your senses. I must ask you about the forest. I've heard from the animals. Nonsense. Animals do not speak. They do to me. Enough. We must find you again. A uh, seamstress, tailor, and designer enter with dress. Animals like cow and unicorn watch. Creepy. <laughs> Who's the seamstress? All of them are... It is all um, Oswald. Oswald. Oh. Two Oswald. Oh no! He has gotten a stage fright! <laughs> we have Oswald. forgotten to have a... Uh, what's the word? Understudy? <laughs> well, seamstress is Australian. Taylor is... Irish and designer is German? No, Taylor yeah. is German and designer is Irish. No, no, no. Ta no, no, Taylor was Irish. Oh, okay. So designer is German. It does yeah, not yeah. matter. They are all about to be Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Magnifucho gets on the stage. <clears throat> we know we'll find you a gal. <clears throat> we have many to pick from. Uh, uh, we know we will find you something special. Uh, you love these. Royal sprinkles, magic dust, and Penelope. Animals watch and gasp. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Mr. Kelly, you're lying. <laughs> oh, oh my. What is it? It's just what? what? That's magic dust. <laughs> What, what's gonna happen? Penelope sees dresses, jumps up and down in excitement. She squeals in delight. I love them all. Seems to Taylor and designer are happy. Penelope puts gown on. I love this one. It's perfect. Wonderful. This one is great too. Penelope puts on another dress. Oh, shouldn't you take off the other? Oh, I want them both. We really should. I want that one too. Penelope puts on another gown. Wait! Please don't! Penelope puts on another. Give me more dresses. Penelope runs off stage, dragging seamstress and designer with Taylor following. That worked a little too well. Royal runs after two. Unicorn comes out to fighting with cow and other animals. This is terrible. That really sours my cum. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, he does what to your what now? Penelope runs across the stage with another dress over the others. Seamstress, designer, and tailor are all chasing after her, and they exit. Darling, that says cream. <laughs> cream. <laughs> hmm. I need to find it. I break the spell. Penelope's always helping us, but now we need to help her. Magical does an evil laugh off stage. What was that? Evil magician! Jesus. Get him. 
You change your voice. <laughs> there is no bar that is being set here. A magical enters. <laughs> How the forest will be mine. Not if we don't stop you first. I think Toad needs a lemsip. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Penelope runs across stage with another with another dress over the others. Seamstress, designer, and tailor all chase after her as they exit. Royal enters like she has been running after them, but stops. <laughs> wow, I think the director is slightly sexist. Um, um, this isn't what I in mind at all. <laughs> Trouble. Uh, your magic worked a little too well. But it did work. Well. You must have used too much. You didn't say how much to use. Oops, did I forget? Did I forget to tell you the amount? <laughs> I s <laughs> what? What? that in the script. It's canon that. The among. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it means amount, but they said among. Of course they did. I swear I told you to just use a pinch, not the whole thing. <laughs> and again, Penelope runs across the stage with another dress over the others. Seems to designer and tailor all chase after her as they exit. Royal enters like she has been running after them, but stops. How do we stop this? Give me the tea to the forest and I will help you undo the spell. Fine, I have the papers right here. Um... Tasta looks around. Mm. <laughs> do something. <laughs> but I'm scared. I'll do something. <laughs> Cow runs and grabs papers from Royal before Magico can get it and runs away. Hey, that's mine. No, it's not. Forest belongs to everyone. <laughs> oh no, he looks mad. Run. Magico chases after a cow. Penelope runs across the stage with seamstress, designer, and tailor all chasing her. Royal and Animal joins the chaotic Scooby Doo style. Who the fuck is Scooby Doo? <laughs> <laughs> Join the chaotic Scooby Doo style chase scene. Eventually, Magico crashes into Penelope and everyone stops. <laughs> Unicorn jumps on Magico. I just invented the Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dresses! I need more dresses! Give us something to break the spell. Now, unless I get the G to the forest. Sorry, but you can't have it because I'm eating it. Wolf search is magical. She will stay like this forever. Dresses, please. Wolf finds battle and holds it up. I found it! I found the antidote to the spell. Give it to Penelope. Wolf opens bottle and sprinkles on Penelope. No! Penelope shakes her head and starts mo removing dresses. What's going on? You were under a terrible spell made by the wicked wizard that made you want to put on all the dresses. I can't... I can't put my arms down. We'll help. He's not all back. So be it. Don't rip them. <laughs> That's the uh, only way out. Animals help remove the dress along with the seamstress designer and tailor. Penelope goes to Royal. Cow sits on Magical, so he can't escape. <clears throat> we must speak of this at once. I'm so sorry, princess. How dare you use magic on me? I was getting desperate. Your sister ordered me to do something about your clothes. I had no choice. As this role has been going on, Amir has clearly been getting more and more pissed off with the script and some clear <laughs> syncrasies with her own life, but anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, this is such a chunk. Okay. You always have a choice. We always have a choice between right and wrong. I can't, be I, I can't believe you all are trying to change <laughs> me to someone I'm not. 
That's so unfair of you and my sister. Mm. Why am I not good enough the way I am? I'm happy with my life. That should be good enough. This is getting real, like, Lin Manuel Miranda, <laughs> real quick. Please don't force me to be something I'm not. A princess shouldn't have to wear fancy new clothes to be accepted or included or important. What's the point of those gaudy gowns anyway? Is it so she can prove she is better than everyone or show she is richer? And do we really need royal families too? Do we need kings and queens? Oh god. Do we really need princesses? <laughs> this is... What? What? Chris, did you have this script? What the, can I say? I'm a communist. A socialist. <laughs> I would say we don't. We should all be equal, and instead of punishing those who have nothing, punish those who take too much. What we need is a leader. A leader who cares about all of us and wants to lift us up and make life better for all the humans and animals that live here. Every life matters. <laughs> No matter how oh, big. No. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Cheer. <laughs> and seamstress, designer, and tailor clap. Yeah. Magical struggles under cow. Yeah. Royal yeah. bow down. <laughs> I'm so fucking sorry. Okay. So much. I, I only asked you to. Right. Forgive me, Highness. Oh, forgive me. I forgive you, and I ask you to forgive me. Forgive you what? For what I just said, for making your job more difficult, <laughs> I should really speak to my sister directly. <laughs> like that. Let's go, everyone. It's time I spoke to my sister and our future queen. I will speak to her about how important this forest is to all of us, and I do my best and I do my best to cooperate for my sister's special day. Okay. Wonderful princess. She would be most likely. Everyone exits except Magico and Cow. The cow is still sitting on Magico. Wait, everyone! I'm so stuck into this bovine! Oh, did you want me to move? Yes. You gotta ask nicely. Oh, fuck up. <laughs> uh, no, but not until you speak to me with a kind of words. You need to learn some manners. Don't want good manners. No, I'm not making a cow joke. No. Move or I'll... Move or I'll turn you into a hamburger. What's a hamburger? <laughs> that that you really doesn't know. It's made out of cows. I thought ham was from pigs. There's no ham in a hamburger. Then why is he called a hamburger? Don't know, just let me go. Not until you give me an answer. I don't have an answer. Then I'm not moving. Somebody help me! Let's turn to black during the above exchange! <laughs> Pastel is fucking laughing. Play. He's rolling on the floor right now. I think it's a beer's having a mild Rain panic Rain. attack off the stage right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was the princess's new clothes, presented by the field of <laughs> Magnifucho. Uh, directed and written by Magnifucho, and starred in by the Curse of Strad. In the role of Penelope, we had Amir, Magico, is Milo. Uh, the cow and the wolf were played by Darling. Um, the butterfly and the squirrel were Elfric Sondheim, and the unicorn and the royal were Tastel Faulkner, and the seamstress designer and tailor were played by Oswald and his understudy, Magnifuccio. We thank you very much. Please leave all coins at the front and exit. Fr just get out of the way. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I, I gotta say, guys, I don't know if this had very good representation. I mean, wizards aren't all evil, just to let you know, like... <laughs> Not a wizard. Amir starts to think that maybe the director wrote this and knows too much about her and is just sharpening blades in the back of the <laughs> and just starting to... How did I do? <laughs> you were excellent. Brilliant. That play was a half an hour long. Oh my god, that was the scare of my life. I'm never gonna was get this? back. It was. I thought it would be max five minutes. <laughs> it, was, it actually, it generally didn't feel that long. It wasn't really that long. The time flies when you are doing a play oh performed for four year olds. <laughs>